News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Well, a silver alert is still active this morning for this man right here, 77-year-old Juan Teles Rodriguez. He was last seen at the 500 block of South 12th Street in Edinburgh Saturday afternoon. We're told he has dementia and might have trouble communicating because of a previous stroke that he had. If you have any, if have any information that is, call Edinburgh Police at 956-289-7700. And later this week, FEMA is coming to the Valley to set up two mass COVID testing sites. The one in Cameron County is being held at the Brownsville Sports Park. To sign up, scan the QR code that you see right now. It opens Wednesday at 10 a.m. and after that, they'll be open at 8 a.m. and the weekends are included. The other testing site will be at the Edinburgh Municipal Park. To sign up, also scan that QR code. Appointments are mandatory for both testing locations. To sign up, the sign up information that is, is also on our website, krgb.com. And if you can't wait until Wednesday, a testing site is opening up today in Palmview. It starts at 1 p.m. at the Greg's Ballroom building on Balma Vista Drive, and it'll be open until supplies run out. No appointment is needed for this one, and they'll be providing both the rapid and PCR test. They'll also have vaccines available at this site, too. And in weather today, a cold start to our day, but we'll slowly warm up into the 70s under sunny skies. The warming trend continues, and rain chances increase during the week ahead of another cold front. That's your News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.